Team Star is the name of our new group of antagonists, and I really like them. It's literally that classic anime trope of the rebellious delinquent students who make a biker gang. I mean, that makes perfect sense in a region that seems to be obsessed with motorcycle lizards. And five-pointed stars are a very outgoing shape as well. They spark pizzazz. They are flashy and outgoing and attention-grabbing. Just like the Bosozoku that clearly inspired them, the Bosozoku are essentially a kind of biker, and one unique to Japan. They've got the flashiest and the most purposefully loud bikes ever, and this clearly plays a part in the design of their big main car. Just so many pretty lights and bright colors, just like our new mascot plush that you can purchase right now at noggin.net and every purchase will help us keep doing what we do. We put a lot of time, money, and love into its production and I know you will just love to squish it a lot. Look at it be squish. And pre-orders will have a random chance to have one of our few remaining Tofrog plushies included at no extra cost. But pre-orders are only available for another 48 hours from this video posting. Yes, we are nearing the launch. No, launch, not lunch. It's so exciting. I know you'll love them, so please check it out at noggin.net with the link below. Snagui is the star of the show, but as for Team Star, there is more to this star than it just being a flashy, show-offy shape. They seem to focus on fire types and use terminology like we burn too bright to even look at directly, which of course is because stars, like our sun, are fiery and bright. I mean, duh. But actually, when introducing Mela, they say she's the leader of Team Star fire crew. That makes me wonder if there are going to be other crews of other types, and also if Mela is going to be the only one available in both Scarlet and Violet. Perhaps the reason they introduced Arma Rouge and Cerulege here at the same time is because they are going to be some of Team Star's main Pokémon. Both are exclusive to one version, and both have fire type as their main type. So perhaps then, Team Star also has a ghost crew in Pokémon Violet, or a psychic crew in Pokémon Scarlet, as the those are these Pokémon's secondary types. And both of these types work very well, too, because in various forms of astrology, stars are given all sorts of supernatural properties and ideas, from being able to predict the future to having spiritual connections with little spirits. So Psychic and Ghost right there. Heck, that's why Solgaleo and Lunala are these types, though also Steel, because stars are molten metal. But the end of that line, but you knew that, right? That does lead me to believe that they are quite fond of stars, like educationally. Perhaps they are astrology or astronomy nerds. And that's great and perfect for the region they are in. The invention of the telescope played a huge role in advancing our understanding of Earth's place in the cosmos. And it was invented in Spain. And so was the planetarium, the first accurate representations of our solar system. And good old Galileo Galilei, said to be the father of observational astronomy, may have been Italian, but given how many Pokemon here aren't based specifically on Iberian things, but rather Portuguese and Spanish settlements, or just the Mediterranean region as a whole, I think it's still perfectly fitting. He was a Mediterranean man. Here he is being referenced in this Mediterranean region. But we don't actually have to consider him too much specifically. He's the father of observational astronomy in the late 1500s for sure, but not regular old astronomy. Learning about the stars and teaching about the stars scientifically in a school setting for the first time around the 970s, that is what, I'm gonna butcher this name, Malsama Altmajiriti. Did. He was born in Madrid, Spain, and was considered the most brilliant mathematician and astronomer of his time, and introduced many techniques for studying the stars, including surveying and triangulation. And most importantly, he built a school of astronomy and math and alchemy. Also, he was dubbed the Andalusian Euclid, and that is a way cool title, and I'm kind of jealous. Muslama and his students would go on to accurately estimate the size of the Mediterranean, and also figured out that the succession of equinoxes change in a 26,000 year long cycle. And there, of course, were countless advances in cartography made here. But, but yeah, a whole school dedicated to studying the stars in Spain. So here we have star-loving students in Spain. That's perfect. And if they do have ghost and psychic branches too, that just gets more into the alchemy and astrology side of it all. 
that's so good! And I am very excited to learn more and more about these teenage punks. But what about you? What do you think about Team Star? Let me know down below, and please consider supporting us by giving yourself a Snagooey plush. And until next time, never stop using your noggin.